Hey, this is Blair from Tech City, and today we're going to take a look at Twitter for the Apple Watch. So this is the Twitter home screen, and there are two main things you could do straight from the home screen uh, without doing anything else. Uh, the timeline just shows your recent tweets, basically just a synopsis of what's going on. Um, same as your desktop, just obviously on the smaller screen. Um, if you like something, you can hit the star button and favorite it. Um, which will favorite that from my main Twitter account, or I can retweet it, um, which of course is very easy. And if I wanted to reply to it, I can of course do that through dictation. So that's a very interesting tweet you posted there. And you clicked on. I can check it just to see if it uh, makes sense, and off I go. Okay. Bother VentureBeat with another tweet. Um, but yeah, it's just a pretty thorough look through. Um, if you click on an inline image, you can expand on that. Um, not by much, obviously, but it uh, gives you a little bit of uh, leeway if you want to take a look at a tweet closer. Um, so that's Timeline. And then if we go to top trends, this is basically um, the same functionality as your trending topics when you look at it on desktop or mobile. Um, so it's got, I believe, 10 of the um, most up-to-date tweets. So if I click on this from the NBA Finals last night, I should get some somewhat noteworthy stuff, I would think, right? Some Sports Center tweets here, um, retweets from the Cleveland Cavs. Um, it's not perfect, um, you know. I think it could stand <laughs> a little bit of work in terms of parsing some of these tweets. They seem to be a little bit more um, closer to the topic when you view them on desktop. Um, and like, for example, in this case, if you have a hashtag that's longer than say, I don't know what the character limit is, but it ends up getting truncated there, so unless you know exactly what's being talked about, it's a little bit hard to parse. Um, but that's a look at the trends, and of course you can see the trend lines, if they're moving up or if they're moving down. Um, so that's a cool little feature, kind of mimics the, uh, the desktop. And then, if you want to send out a tweet, um, you do a force touch. So, I send that out want to tweet something, and I can do a couple of things. So, I can obviously, I can send out an emoji if I want to. I can, go back. I can dictate a tweet like we did before, or I can also show what I might be playing on my music. So, in this case, I was listening to Jay-Z earlier, so if I wanted to tweet this out, I can do it, and then if I check my own timeline, I should be able to see it. Boom, there it is. And of course, it's in the Ristech City account, which I should probably delete. <laughs> but that's basically Twitter for the Apple Watch in a nutshell.